my hair is so pretty. Ugh. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and get on with this Q&A, but if you aren't following me on Instagram already, you really should consider it because I post really amazing and gorgeous pictures of myself and my life in New York City, and I also post pictures of my pug and my vagina, so definitely go check it out if you guys want to see that. So here we go. The first question is from Olivia24. What's something you want to do before you die? Definitely travel more. I need to see like every single country in Europe. I really want to go to Africa. A lot of people might be like, why Stephanie? Why would you want to go to Africa? Africa. just seems like something that'd be really fun to tell other people like I don't actually want to go to Africa I just want to be able to tell people that I went there and then then be like oh really and then I'll be like yup cuz I'm adventurous as fuck and you're not next question is from Tony 095 what is the most cringy thing that you've ever done with a guy and the most cringy thing you've done with a girl just like my mere existence is cringy to women, I wholeheartedly believe that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of women in the comment section will agree because so many of you are like, oh my God, this girl, this slut, this skank. The cringiest thing I've ever done with a guy same thing, just like fucking existing. I'm awkward, I'm weird, I say inappropriate things. I mean, let's just look at this footage right here. I'm a nice person. I'm not drunk at all. <laughs> Redo. You want the rest of this? What the fuck? What am I doing with my life? This, this is actually footage that a guy took of me on a date because I was acting like such a fucking idiot and being so cringy. Next question is from Say And. Do you see yourself having a career doing YouTube forever? And if not, what do you see yourself doing in the future? So I'm getting to that age, I'm turning 27 this September, where I'm slowly but surely beginning to realize that, first of all, I don't think I could do this forever. It can be emotionally draining to constantly put yourself out there on the internet and express your every feeling and emotion, but also it's really fun. It'll always be a hobby, and I do have an end game. Next question is from Eva Lucia. Would you ever consider getting a piercing or a tattoo? Love from Slovenia. So if we can get my Instagram to 30,000 followers by the end of this week, I will get a pizza tattoo, and I will videotape it, and I will take a picture of it and post it on my Instagram. No, it will not be temporary. It'll be a fucking permanent tattoo. You don't think I'm being serious? I'm being serious. Try me. Next question is from Michaela's Hume. What's your favorite pizza topping? I just like cheese. Next question is from Rachel Powell. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship? If so, what's your advice for people struggling after the fact? How do you get better and recover? So I've been in a couple abusive relationships myself. As a victim, I don't want to victim blame, but I do blame myself for staying in those relationships as long as I did because I had really, really low self-esteem. And at one point I actually thought that I deserved to be treated that way. And and I was afraid that if this person left me or that if I left them, I wouldn't find anybody else. And I was so afraid of being alone and unwanted. And over the course of a couple of years, I built up my self-esteem to the point that I believed in myself. I believed that I deserved more out of life than this perpetual bullshit from this abusive asshole. And I was finally able to break the cycle and get out of that relationship. Stop making excuses. Love isn't supposed to hurt. Next question is from Casual Dude 2529 Is your mom single? No, she is married, but, you know, maybe not for long, because casual dude, damn, 15 to 20. Whoa, that's a pretty big gap. That goes from, like, legal to illegal in, like, two seconds, so... Why are you trying to get with my mom? Next question is from Shakira Madline121. You are so beautiful. Oh, thank you. How do you get a healthy relationship? I don't know. I've never had one. Just kidding. I did. I uh, dated Brad and Brad was the only healthy relationship that I've ever had in my entire life. And how did I get him? I met him at a bar. No, I think healthy relationships are full of compromises and you respect the person and you're loyal and faithful and each of you flourish. I think a big difference between healthy relationships and unhealthy relationships is when you leave a person that you have an unhealthy relationship with, you feel 
feel drained of your energy, you feel tired, you feel exhausted, you feel emotionally spent. But if you're with somebody that is good for you and it's a healthy relationship, you feel empowered and motivated in the presence of that person. And when you're dating them, you flourish and you become the best version of yourself. So just, you know, look for that. Next question is from the goat QB. Can you do porn? So yes, I can do porn. I possess a vagina, some boobies, but I don't want to do porn. And that's all that needs to be said. Next question is from IQ Bell, but G, would you date someone who is younger than you? No, I'm only attracted to old, fat, hairy men. Get it straight. And by the way, so many people make fun of me for that. Like, stuff likes chunky guys, stuff likes old guys. And I'm just like, well, you like pretty douchebags, so. Next question is from Lily Barker X. What advice would you give to teenagers with self-confidence issues? Coming from a person who was a teenager with an eating disorder and self-confidence issues, all I have to tell you is that take solace in the fact that a lot of teenagers go through that stuff, regardless of how they look or where they're from or who they are. Everyone deals with self-confidence issues. This is all common knowledge, but nobody is perfect. Literally nobody. And self-confidence takes time. And during your teenage years, it's very normal to have doubts about yourself because of all the pressure that's being put on you at school and by your friends and by social media. And everybody's trying to look like an Instagram model, but just know that Instagram models don't even look like Instagram models. Next question is from Cassidy Com. How do you control your anger or sadness? Definitely a lot of Prosecco. Just kidding. So the way that I control my anger is by literally, I literally have a drink. That's so fucking bad. Does that make me an alcoholic? I don't know. I just not like, I don't drink an entire bottle of something, but like if I'm feeling really, really angry, like I'll have a glass of red wine to just like calm myself down a little bit. But for those of you who don't drink or who are not of a legal age, I guess my advice would be to put on some real soothing music <sighs> take a deep breath and just tell everyone to fuck off next question is from you know you love it <laughs> will you be the mother of my children of course next question is from Pozak 16 do you wear thongs and have you ever gone down on a girl Ow, that really hurt. Why did I do that? And no, I've never gone down on a girl. And honestly, the idea of it doesn't really appeal to me. Not planning to do that anytime in the near future. Next question is from Nightly Neil. What's your ideal dick size? Five to six inches is pretty good. Any more than that, I think it's just, you know, a little painful, so get out of me. Next question is from Iceman FCB. What is the oldest man that you ever had sex with? A couple years ago, I had sex with the 40 four-year-old man and the last question that i will be answering is from greg wrecker how often do you have sex not often at all i'm actually currently on a dick-free diet as you know i am not allowing any more penises to enter me until they pass a very tough and rigorous screening process just kidding i'm just taking a break from dating and from sexual intercourse because i really think i need to just chill the fuck out and i don't think that i need any more of a reason than that like that's good enough reason to just not have any any more penises inside of me. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking right here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!